Welcome back to Undertale, everybody! So, on the last episode, we went on a date with the coolest skeleton ever, Papyrus. I don't know what we're gonna do today, though. I should have taken the igloo train. Whoops. Library. So what lies beyond here? Ooh, waterfall. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I just want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here, haha. <laughs> this is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. What? Haven't I seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Eh, yeah, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone! Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greeted Sands! Hiya, Sansie! Hey, Sands, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Uh, I will get a burger. I'm hungry. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of a bird. So, what do you think of my brother? He's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that feet off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, no thanks. More for me. <laughs> he just drank straight ketchup. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard. And begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because he it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Whoa, serious time. Have you ever, ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from my work that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. I can't pay for that. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Well, all right then. Is the igloo nearby? It should be. Yeah, it's right here.
Well, this is pr a pretty area. I like it a lot. Not sure what that discussion with Sans had to do with the overall plot, but uh, I don't care. Can I buy something? <laughs> Let's hang out again sometime. No, I can't buy anything. Lame. This is a box. Oh, that's right. Uh, I already know this spiel. What's down here? Oh, I see. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Whoop! Oh, but not getting hit by rocks today. Whoa, that was unnecessarily cool. Undyed, I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did! I fought them valiantly! What? Did I capture them? W well no. I tried very hard, Undyed, but in the end, I failed. W what You're going to take the human soul yourself? But I died. You don't ha have to destroy them. You see, you see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh boy. Oh, uh, this is not good. Oh, it's a blue lance though. So I just don't have to move. Well, that happened. Hi. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Ouch. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. When four bridge seats align in the water, they will sprout. Interesting. Yay! Who's this? Aaron flexes in! Whoa, Aaron, you are a stud! Aaron, 24 attack, 12 defense! This seahorse has a lot of HP! Horsepower! All of its attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box! Check all you want! Aaron is splashing you playfully. Hey, Aaron, I'm gonna check out the, my ma muscles. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flex in contest? Okay, flex more. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Well, I'm just gonna beat up Aaron, actually. No need for a swimming suit. Aaron's muscles droop comically. Hey, Aaron, go away. You tell Aaron to go away. Wow, spunky. Love it. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Aaron's muscles droop comically. Aaron, die. You won. I needed that at EXP. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. That's nice. Oi! 
That's four connected. Hmm. Oh, this is clever. I like it. We Rain. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got to yours. Yeah. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Or were you wearing a bandana? What will you say? Uh, yeah. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Click. I think I'm wearing a bandana in my equipment. Wishing room. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all that, your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The kin will prove that. Who's this? It's Washua. Okay. Hey, Washua. You've got 18 attack, 5 defense. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Oh, darn spot. Clearly, that wasn't supposed to be something worse. Washua is rinsing off a pizza. Scrub-a-dub-dubs. Okay, the soap bar is getting faster. Ouch. Washua's revolted at its own wounds. Oh, I can mercy it. You won. You earned 17 gold. Sweet. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Look for the telescope? Sure. Check wall. Okay, I will. What? Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed as they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. They would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. It's apparently Legend of Zelda. We can take a raft. Oh boy, it's another weird shadow part. Uh, what the heck is going on? This is pretty awesome. And kind of terrifying at the same time. Hey, Undyne. Uh, am I about to die? D 
Did it just kill the little kid? Oh my. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't you worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Okay, at least, it, at least he didn't die. This cheese has been here so long, the magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Well, isn't that nice? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G just to use this premium telescope, but... Since I know you, you could use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yeah, sure. This is the best telescope ever. Really? You stink. <laughs> yeah, I'll use the boss. Need the monster candy back. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Nope. Just your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Whoa, it's the Nice Cream Man. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> Another box? Oh no, it's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have free cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25 G. Yeah, sure. I'll buy some. Super. Here you go. The box contains one card. Take a card. Yeah, I take a punch card. Hopefully he'll move again eventually. What's this area? You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Is this whole area a maze? I hope not. You walk into Mold's Mall. Hey, Mold's Mall. I need more experience. Slime sounds. Dun, 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 dun. Mold's Mall waits passively. You won. And I got hardly anything for that. Hmm. Reen. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. I wonder if I had actually changed my outfit if I could have escaped all that murder stuff. It's Washua again? Alright dude, if you're gonna keep going after me, then wash you teeth and eyes. If Washua is going to keep going after me, I'm gonna beat him up. 
You won! 52 XP and my love increases because I beat someone up. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that! Come on! I promise I won't laugh! The power to take their souls! This is the power that the humans feared. Nice backstory. Ha! What? Who's this? Is this a giant squid? Ugh. Hey, there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion Sun. Onion Sun, you hear? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Please stop following me. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. Please stop following me. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. That's the end of the room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall! Who's this? It's Shiren. She hides in the corner, but somehow it encounters me anyways. I'm on a murder rampage, toot. Shiren's voice gets raspy. You can live. The Northern Room hides a great treasure. There's a piano here. Play it. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. That was a terrible version of the Imperial March. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play alone? Only the first eight are fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't have time for that. Maybe another time. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Sure, I will take one. I only really need one. Well, this is nice. Hey, it's you! Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! Nice reflections. Very, very good job. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> yeah, kid, that's great. So, one time, 
We had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The Keen, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Don't not knock teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. She just tried to kill me. I know all I've done is tortured and killed several monsters. Oh, that is awesome. Ho, 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 ho. Return the umbrella? I'll put it back. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see I'm dying, right? Climb on my shoulders. Thank you. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Hmm. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Well, that's not nice. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken and countless monsters were turned to dust. Ew. The sound of muffled rain on the cave top. It fills you with determination. That's where we're going to leave it off for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Arnie and I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day and God bless.